Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Lush haul. For those of you that don't know, Lush is a store that sells all kinds of products, natural and organic and friendly to the earth and people and to animals and everything. I don't even know why I'm just now finding about this store. Um, but it's one of my new favorite stores and I had such a good time at the store. It's actually a very small store, but there is so much product in there and you can also purchase uh, the products online as well. I got so many products that I started getting dizzy because all the different scents that I got. I was mostly looking for bath products because I love me a good nice soothing bath. So all the products that I got, majority of them were bath products, except for the two samples that I got on their hair, hair care products. There's a lot packed in this little teeny store, but it wasn't too crowded. It wasn't overwhelming. The sales agents were so knowledgeable and so helpful and so patient that I really don't mind going into the store. I was hoping that this could be a short little video just showing my haul, but I don't think so because I got carried away in the store okay so I got like a ton of products I also want to say that they're very conscious of the earth and of people and animals as well they're constantly giving back y'all to the world and for May 2016 their initiative is to break free from fossil fuels and so there's a pamphlet uh, that they're giving out and they're talking about how climate change is real how it has impact on people and the planet they're uh, encouraging and sponsoring um break free from fossil fuels for may so let's just get right started starting out with bath bombs the first one that i got is this one is called intergalactica it looks like something that would be in outer space and it's got like sparkle in there, which is a plus, plus, plus. Vetiver and cedarwood, and it, it does smell really, really good. Uh, it doesn't, you know, for some reason I thought it would turn the bubbles the color. I don't, I don't know why I thought that. I haven't tried any of the, this bath bomb yet. It's just pretty. I love that. <laughs> that I got is this beautiful one. This is pink and purple and it has like a rose inside. This is called Sex Bomb. This one contains jasmine, absolute and softening soy milk, which, you know, love me some jasmine. It's a beautiful bomb. You put the whole thing, this whole thing in one bath. And then the next one, bath bomb that I got is the Experimenter. It has vibrant color, popping candy, and comforting fair trade vanilla. But I remember Pop Rocks has been around for uh, quite some time, but um, so I guess this is gonna pop, pop, fizz, fizz in the water when you drop it in. This one has an odd shape, so I put, would put the whole thing in there. So then the last bath bomb that I got is the Butter Ball, which is a smaller ball. This is for skin softening and it has vanilla. And it also smells like it has cocoa butter in it. And this one is a smaller bomb compared to the other bath bombs. So that's it for the bath bombs that I got. I bought a shower gel for my husband. This one is called the Olive Branch. This one is skin softening. It has bergamot oil, vine leaves for calm skin and relaxed state of mind. I'm just gonna smell this. I do smell a hint of the bergamot. Well, actually, I don't know if my scent is like gone because of the bath bombs. <laughs> the comforter uh, shower cream I tried this one already because I couldn't wait this one has bergamot oil certified vanilla in it 
This one doesn't suds up that much. So if you're looking for something sudsy in the shower, this is not gonna suds up, but it's gonna clean, but it's also gonna moisturize. So, cause there's a lot of moisture. <laughs> That I got from the Lush store are bubble bars. With the bubble bars, but what you want to do is you want to break off some and crumble it up and run it under the running water first, so and then let it fall into the water so that you can create bubbles. If you just put the whole thing in there, it's just gonna all settle to the bottom and it's not really gonna like create the bubbles that you want. Um, I had to try it because I, as soon as I came home, I was like, that day was stressful at work, so I had to try it. I tried the comforter. Oh, it smells so good. Bubble bar. And I, what I did was I split it into six pieces and I actually put in the three triangles and it was quite a bit of bubbles. If I would have put the whole thing, I would have just been like all bubble and no whatever, too much bubbles. This bar is really, really big and then it has colors of the uh, magenta, lavender, and mint green color in there. And this is actually the bubble bar for the shower cream, the comfort. <music> bubble bar that I got. French Kiss. Isn't that cool? It It's kind of shaped like a Hershey's Kiss. And then it also has a sprig of lavender sticking out. So yeah, I had to get that. And I love me some lavender, y'all. Especially if I'm trying to relax or something. Lavender is known for relaxing. Now this one has uh, lavender and rosemary in it with extra virgin coconut oil. Okay, how can you go wrong with rosemary, lavender, and coconut oil? Okay, three so relaxing scents. So pretty. I'm probably gonna use this whole thing all at once. So the next bubble bar that I got is the Karma. All the gold has kind of rubbed off a little bit, but the top has gold on it. It's purple, it has orange, and it looks like a pyramid. And this one has patchouli and sweet orange in here. I love patchouli essential oil. It's a very exotic scent. Alone, it's a little strong and it can be intense, but if you mix it with other scents like geranium and rose, oh my goodness. Exotic, heavenly, lovely. Ha! Yeah, exactly. So this one, I may just uh, split this in half, but the sales agent was telling me that she mixes, and I can't remember which one she mixes this with. That's also a tip that you can do, is you can mix the scents together to create your own uh, signature scent. It smells wonderful by itself. This one is the Rose Jam Bubble Rune Bubble Bar, and it's shaped like a rose, and it looks like a macaroon but instead it's a bubble room. Yeah, so it's pink. It's pretty, pretty pink. I, I just want, I, y'all, I want to bite it so bad. It looks like you can eat it, but I know I'll be disappointed, so I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do that. It has also pink sparkles on it. And this one, the scent is rose scented, obviously. And it also has a fair trade shea butter in it as well. And it does smell like roses. I wanna, I wanna eat it. <laughs> so pretty. The next bubble bar that I got, blue skies and fluffy clouds. I would probably split in half and use half, you know, in half increments. Yeah, for some reason I wanna bite into this one too. <laughs> Doesn't it look edible? So this one has a frankincense in here and frankincense is another exotic, spicy, woody patchouli and frankincense is an ancient scent. 
and I think back in biblical times they use myrrh and frankincense um, probably because they didn't have showers and you know a lot of baths and stuff like that so they use strong scents of frankincense and myrrh to kind of hide the pee funk <laughs> Sorry. When you think about it, I mean, they didn't have, you know, they weren't in Rome. I mean, Romans and, you know, whatever had the, the spas and the baths and stuff like that. But back, back, back in the day before they had all that, they didn't have spas and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So they had to do what they had to do. Frankincense and myrrh, because of their strong scent, was used to perfume and cover up le pew. Okay? Again, I would cut this in bubble bar that I got because it's a new one it's called granny takes a dip <laughs> that's interesting I don't know how they came up with that uh, name for this bubble bar and this one has ginger pepper and lemon interesting is that what grannies smell like when they take a dip I don't know this one has pink it has lime green and it also has like a bluish purplish color to it such a fan of Lush store and I had such a good experience in the store itself. I mean the sales agents were just phenomenal and they knew their stuff. You could tell that they used the products because they were able to tell you which ones to mix and what it benefits. I mean just all kinds of very knowledgeable and my particular uh, sales agent was Kate and I just want to give a shout out to her. That is it. So if you guys already knew about Lush who knew I didn't and you have favorites uh, leave a comment below and tell me what your favorites are right now I don't know what my favorites are because there's just so many they're all my favorites and then I love what they stand for I love how they give back and how they're so eco-friendly and how they don't test on animals and how they only source fair trade ingredients and natural and just I, I just love it I just hope, love the whole concept the whole all their products and and everything and I'm just a fan I just can't stop saying enough about it so I'm gonna stop right now <laughs> all right y'all so that's it thank you so much for watching don't forget to sparkle in everything that you do until next time Mwah.